offensive as it was in itself, there are serious questions about the origins of that wrestling video that the president shared over the weekend, in which Mr. Trump appears to pummel a person whose head is a CNN logo. I want to bring in CNN's Tom Foreman. He's been taking a deeper dive into that video. So, so, Tom, where do we know about where this video originated on the web? Jim, the White House will not say where the president got the video, but a senior White House official said today it was not from Reddit, which is a popular Internet messaging board. The problem is we and other media outlets who have searched can't find any evidence of it existing anywhere but Reddit before the president picked it up. Now, why does that matter? Because if he got it from that source, a whole bunch of new questions about racism, bigotry, and violence come into play. What the fuck? Oh, my God. What the... When... This is what I want to know, okay? With the Trump election, a lot of things changed, all right? It was a very formative year for America, all right? 2016, that was the year when you really said anyone can be president. You know, people said that when Obama became president, but let's be honest, Obama, he has an education, Harvard Law, all that shit. That's too much. Trump, he just showed up. They're like, hey, you president now. But what also came in 2016, which is much more important, is the legitimacy of internet memes. I don't know why, but for some reason, that puts people in the realm, like... Like, the Shadow Realm doesn't compare to this fucking meme warfare that's been going on for the past two years. I have no clue why CNN went into so much fucking Genjutsu and actually cares about this dumbass Trump meme. But by God, they care a lot, and they fucking did research. So I want to see this guy's, I want to see this chicken neck guy's research. The video shared by President Trump to his 33 million personal Twitter followers and then to 19 million more on his presidential account was apparently first posted by a Reddit user who goes by this online name and who has also laid claim to it. That user of Reddit's online message board reacted enthusiastically. Wow, I never expected my meme to be retweeted by the God Emperor himself. I am honored. But others are worried including the Anti-Defamation League, which surveyed the user's post and found a consistent record of racism, anti-Semitism, and bigotry. Holy shit. Okay, this is... All right, this is the this is where CNN starts going, like, in the shadow realm. This is when they're like, you know what? This guy, he posted a super spicy meme. He, he superimposed a CNN logo over Vince McMahon's head. By the way, let me just say... It's hilarious, it's hilarious that the president as well as CNN are like critiquing this dumbass video so much, or at least giving attention to this video, where it's literally Trump beating up Vince McMahon from the WWE. That's, if you told me that, if you said, hey, 2017, they're going to bring back a video of Trump on WWE from like 2006 or whatever, and they're going to, some people are going to love it, some people are going to hate it, there's going to be some fucking guy named Jonathan Greenblatt, aka Jewish fucking defender of the league. And he's going to be like, yo, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And I'm, I would be like, damn, that's a future I want to be in. But let me see. I want to see this guy's research. He says that it's racist, anti-Semitic, and bigotry, which is weird because the Internet usually isn't that bad. Usually people on the Internet, they're very cultured and very nice, so it's kind of weird to see that. This individual traffics in online hatred and at times violent rhetoric. And the ADL seems to call out the president, saying, when those on the fringes of society feel their messaging is getting mainstream attention, that should raise alarms. The fake media is trying to silence us, but we will not let them. Because the people know the truth. The fake media tried to stop us from going to the White House but I'm president, and they're not. It all comes as the president... <laughs> wait, a second, wait a second, I'm just going to say something. That speech is so childish, you got to love it. I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, gay, straight, bi, high. That's fucking hilarious. It is raging away at the media with a fiery speech and a Twitter attack on two MSNBC hosts that was so coarse, members of his own party were stunned. Questions ...about who made those changes, and again... With the White House saying the president didn't get it from Reddit, how did it wind up in the president's hands? And was he aware of its origin? We've asked the administration. No answers yet, Jim. 
Holy shit. I, dude, this is crazy, the fact that people really, they really went into this realm and they actually care where the president gets his fucking spicy memes from. It's a goddamn shame they didn't say this nigga got it from fucking 4chan. But here's the thing, right? CNN, fake news, 100%, can't believe him for anything, right? But this is where CNN decides to, like, become violent. Like, this is when they become, like, something that... When I see this type of shit, it low-key makes me believe Alex Jones. It makes me believe the fucking, the super right when they say that the left loves to censor. This is CNN. I'm going to get straight from Buh. This is 4chan.org slash Buh. This is the place to go for news as well as uh, homo shit. But listen, CNN politics. CNN is not blah, 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 because he's a private citizen. Who is issued an extensive blah, 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 blah. And he apologized, so basically they, they're like, listen, bro, you better fucking apologize, we're going to let your name out. But this is what they say, CNN, CNN reserves the right to publish ide his identity should any of that change. So CNN is basically saying, listen, if you don't sing by our tune, if you're not a low-key leftist fuckboy, we will dox you. We will dox you, and it's not going to be pretty. How can a news organization lower themselves to the level of a fucking... Like, this is shit uh, some mom on 4chan would say. Like, some dude on 4chan would be like, Bro, I'll fucking dox you. And if you fucking change your mind, I reserve the right to fucking let out your identity. Who does that? Who do, who does that? Like, the, the, honestly, this is hilarious. But if this keeps up, if the quote-unquote left media is this fucking retarded... I guarantee you Donald Trump will get another year as president. And I, I tell you, because, like, the idea of why people like Donald Trump is because they think that the government and uh, the left side of the country, the liberals, they want to censor you. They want to have you be mind-controlled and do what they want to do what they say. And this CNN is actually playing into it. How retarded are you? And now the whole thing is that it's trending and everything is saying that CNN is blackmailing. And if you go to the Donald, pretty much the Mecca, this is the place to go. This is actually really, if you never went to the Donald, you're missing out because this place is actually pretty popular. Uh, let me see. How many people are here? Oh, my God. Let me shut off CSS. This fucking bullshit. Let me see. 21,000 people are here right now. And, 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 and it's a weekday. Like, no one should be here. But 21,000 people here. Almost 500k people are subscribed or at least come here. Dude, like, I, 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 like, do I need to say anything more? CNN shot themselves in the foot. Because right now CNN is making themselves look like what they, what they say they look like. They're always saying CNN is fake news. They want to bully people into their thought process. They're not real news. They're, you know... Uh, uh, propaganda, leftist media, and this is CNN. Is like, yeah, yeah, that's us. And it's like, why? Why would you do that? Just report the news. Honestly, if CNN did this, if CNN just gave this video and they're like, listen, low key Donald Trump, he might browse the Donald. He's a low key racist. Let's be honest. Uh, first of all, I'd be like, that's hilarious. Second of all, I'd be like, all right, whatever. Snow, sn uh, slow news cycle. What are you gonna do? But this is what's always, like, this is why, low-key, I watch news sources that are boring as shit, like C-SPAN or BBC, because they never give you, like, opinions. Like, if you watch BBC, they'd be like, today in India, uh, a couple was raped yet again. Uh, we had to see that in India. That happens every day. And it's like, all right, no opinion. On to the next story. CNN, for some reason, they got to add all these little flips and flares and... Ooh, uh, look at CNN. Oh, my God. Uh, who, where did he get this meme from? Look how many retweets, how many favorites, how many... It's like, who, no one cares, CNN. Just fucking report the news, for Christ's sake. You're a fucking news organization. Why do you care? Like, you're so... You're so retarded. And by the way, I have to say that CNN is probably pretty dumb for doing this because when it comes to doxing, Buh knows how to dox. Buh loves to dox. And as you can see here, hold up. Let me see if I can find it. Canon. Uh, fuck, come on, dude. Are you kidding me? Light. How about light? What the fuck? I saw it two seconds ago. Am I retarded? Uh, oh my god. Come on, dude. Oh my god. Let me see. Oh, wait a second. I think I found it. Ever heard of downloading low earth orbit ion cannon? Oh, wow. I really spelled cannon wrong. What a fucking idiot. And getting the IP address of CNN, for example, and being a hero? Dude, this is a thing, right? But makes it easy to dox. But tells you the software. But tells you to go there. And they're like, you know what? Type in but, dox them, nuke them, have fun. 
you, you don't want to do it to Bo. Bo, fuck you up. I know a lot of people recently, you know, on, on the internet and even in the news are talking about poll, poll, polling shit. Bo is where it's at. But, but all I got to say is it's hilarious that CNN really stooped to the level of an immature 12-year-old and they just shot themselves in the fuck. Because now they look retarded. They look like... CNN looks like they're just another, like, user online. Like, oh my god, I'll fucking dox you. It's oh, that, First of all, that's hilarious. And second of all, that is kind of... I can understand why people would be upset. Because it's like, dude, it's fucking Reddit. It's the fucking internet. Like, everyone goes on the internet and they're, like, some other persona. Like, I've said so much shit on the internet where it's like, I don't care. I'm like, yeah, I love Naruto. Naruto's the best. Where in real life, I don't like Naruto. Loki, I like Naruto. But the point is, when you're online... You just say shit. No one cares. It's the fucking internet. Are you really gonna take people's words on the internet and think it's legit? Look, this is this is what, this is another reason why Buzz good. The stories and information posted here are artistic work, autistic works of fiction and falsehood. Only a fool would take anything posted here as fact. No one posts their exact political ideology online, at least not on these websites. And for CNN to go into this much, fucking like. Like, this much of a commotion just for that? Whew. It must be a real slow news cycle. Jesus Christ.